farther than Koi. After a year where many people weren't able to go to an actual movie theater, Mortal Kombat had people rushing back like it was discount night at the arcade. The film opened with an impressive take of $23 million domestically, combined with an additional $27.8 million in other territories, be a box office mojo. Mortal Kombat becoming the number one movie in the United States, as well as the Mortal Kombat 11 video game still being immensely popular, proves that people just can't get enough of watching characters rip out their opponents' hearts. The, six tours, motherfucker. the franchise has been going strong for several decades now, and seeing as how 1995's Mortal Kombat received a sequel in the form of Mortal Kombat Annihilation, fans are no doubt wondering if the latest entry in the universe could get a follow-up of its own. After all, the new movie ends with a tease of fan-favorite character Johnny Cage, establishing a perfect entry point for a possible sequel. My warriors, and you think you have won, but death is only another portal. As it turns out, Sub-Zero actor Joe Taslam has his own ideas for how the movie series can continue. Joe Taslam says Sub-Zero could return as Noob Sabot in Mortal Kombat 2. As anyone familiar with Mortal Kombat lore knows all too well, Sub-Zero's death, which we saw in the latest film, isn't the end of the line for the character, whose real name is Bai Han. <laughs> He's ultimately resurrected later in the games as a wraith named Noob Sabot. He made his live-action debut in Mortal Kombat Annihilation, as played by J.J. Perry, and Joe Taslam seems to think it would be an excellent way for the warrior by hand to return for a potential Mortal Kombat sequel in the 21st century. Speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, Taslam opened up about his desire to return to the franchise. <laughs> If the fans want this franchise to continue, then there's a strong chance that the next step for Bai Han is to play Noob Sabot, he said. Has begun. Fingers crossed, but I hope it happens, because I definitely want to play that character. No doubt fans are right there alongside him and hoping this isn't the last time we see the powerful villain. Hollywood. Hollywood. What the hell's in Hollywood? And while a straightforward sequel seems most likely going forward, especially with that Johnny Cage tease at the end, Taslam has another idea, if a sequel isn't in the cards, to be honest, the most interesting path, in my opinion, is to do a prequel. It would be a story about Bai Han and his training in the Lin Kuei. When he got abducted by the Lin Kuei, his parents were killed. So it would be the process of him and his brother becoming assassins, and I think that's quite interesting as well. Right now, there's no word if any future installments of the Mortal Kombat film franchise are in the cards. Farther than quite.